I think what's hard to do with the quarterback position is is scout for those for those things to scout for football IQ, scout for uh, processing because there's a lot of college football offenses that don't require that of the quarterback. And so then, which having, is also getting a little scary the way that college yes. football is not preparing these guys. Yeah, uh, not preparing quarterbacks and not preparing offensive linemen. That's but that's a totally different uh, mm-hmm. a subject. But um, so so yeah, you know, when it comes to Brock Purdy, is he the most athletically gifted quarterback in the NFL? No. Is he a bottom probably bottom ten in terms of tools? Maybe. Right. But he's got enough mobility and he's got enough arm to succeed in a Kyle Shanahan offense as long as he's able to process at the speed that he can. And he's shown that he can. So, again, I don't necessarily see a situation where Brock Purdy falls off next year because what makes him good isn't something that's going to change year over year over year. Can he process? Yes. Is he going to stop being able to process? No. So now it's about can he now take those tools and start to figure out how to beat teams when they do things like what the chiefs did, which is go more man coverage, take away some of those routes. Right. That's the next step in his evolution. But yeah, I, I don't think it's, I, I, I mean, I, I don't, I have no problem saying that of the past three seasons, he is a, not arguably a top three drafted quarterback in the NFL like and I would bad, say, yeah. I would say he's only behind, I would say he's two behind CJ Stroud. I think he's leapfrog Trevor Lawrence because I just haven't seen a lot from Trevor Lawrence outside of knowing what his tool set is to say, yeah, he's better than Brock Purdy. 